Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So uh, today we're going to work on this uh, 2012 uh, Lexus uh, CT 200H. Uh, we're going to work on the brake pads, front and the back, and then the uh, rotors on the front. So we need to take out the wheel lock first, and then all those uh, lock nuts. And then we're going to remove the pads. But the pads uh, looks uh, pretty good though, so I'm not sure why this customer wants to change it. So I'm gonna use this uh, lock nut. Got the jack and then the uh, jack stand ready already. All my tools here. Gonna do this. Use my foot. There you go. Alright, so we take out the wheels now. We are removing the caliper and nuts on the back. It's a 10 millimeter on both. And then we can take out the caliper right in here. And then uh, there's like a shim right here. Two of the shim right here, and then the brake pad. You see, still, you see the rust right there? Right? That's why it's squeaking. Huh? Yeah. So, this is the old pads. And then we got the new one right here. Oh, yeah, dude, look at the difference. It's ceramic, right? Yeah. You about the ceramic? See, this is all. And then this one in the back, okay? And then this is for the back shim. But we're gonna change the rotor too, if we can. Oh yeah, we're gonna change the rotor. We're gonna take out this uh, two at the bolt. The and then to one. get it out. We're gonna use the hanger to hang it, and then hang it on the spring. All right, this is uh, the top bolt and then the bottom bolt. To hold this uh, caliber, it was uh, pretty tight. I need to use my, uh, my foot to kick it real hard in order to loosen up the, those two uh, bolts right there. What size is that? Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, it's a 17 uh, millimeter. So these are the caliber uh, screws. And then this is the caliber frame screw. Okay, now we're going to uh, either unscrew that or try to use a hammer to hit it out. It looks uh, pretty uh, rusted, so there's a the kind of indentation there. So I'm not sure, not enough uh, lubricant or something is making a squeaky noise. So this is a new uh, rotor, so check it out. Well, unfortunately, this is all rusted, so we need to go to Home Depot and buy the screw to uh, fit there, and then uh, to loosen it up the the rotor. Okay. No knife for the check out. Hi right, you two. So this is this one is the M A uh, screw. Okay, I thought it was a M seven, but it was uh, rusted, so it, we didn't have time. It was uh, when we put the M seven, it was too small. So this is a M A screw that you need to uh, get the rotor out. Unfortunately, we had to use a screwdriver and I use this to get it out because we didn't want to go back to Home Depot or AutoZone with a long line, okay? So, all right, we had to remove all this uh, old uh, clip, also raw or rusted. We just uh, installed a new one now, looking nice. Gonna put this back in. 
All right, so uh, the new pads are in right now. Got the brand new rotor. So we're gonna put the shim in there and then that's it. Hi right, YouTube, so uh, we uh, is finished installing this and looks like a uh, spanking new. I'm gonna put the car down and then uh, look on the other side and then that's it. All right, so we just got the tire out this side. It's gonna get the caliper out by uh, losing the 14 millimeter. <laughs> you going the right way? Dude. Man, I gotta train you guys, yo. Shut up, why'd you give it to me in like, the wrong way? Oh shit. <laughs> hey, don't strip it, man. You got it, you got it, don't worry. Yeah, I use this all day. All day? Put in the box here. Yeah. Where's the other one? The bottom one. <laughs> There's this big one right here. That that there. Yeah, well, let's see if he can crank the caliper out. <laughs> He'll probably do it. No, man. He's gonna break his shoulder. I had to use my leg to kick it hard. It means my arm is stronger than your leg, Jeff. No. <laughs> Alright, so we take out the back wheel and then the uh, back of the caliber screws. And, uh, the rear brake is kind of different. There's a special uh, spring right here. I'm not sure what it's for, but the new one doesn't come with it. So I'm gonna take it out. Dude. Probably need to reuse this. I'm not sure if I need to reuse that. Though. So the back there's a shim. How come? How come they put two shim in here? I don't get it. I think one's supposed to be in the front, one's supposed to be in the back, but somehow they put two shim in one. Oh no, that's right. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notification or drop in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.